All right, gonna show you from God's word what the sin of Sodom is in Lamentations chapter four and verse number six. So you have a King James Bible, make sure you turn to Lamentations chapter four, verse number six. It says, for the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hands stayed on her. So what is this sin of Sodom in this verse, Lamentations four, verse number six? Well, there are some verses that identify what this sin of Sodom is. Go to Ezekiel chapter 16, beginning at verse 49. And we see one of the examples of what this sin of Sodom is. Ezekiel 16, 49. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Now what's the iniquity? Pride, like Sodomite pride month. Fullness of bread and the abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters, neither did she strengthen the land of the poor and the needy. Verse 50, and they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. So what is one of the sin of Sodom that is identified in these verses? Well, pride, just like Sodomite Pride Month, which is what's going on right now, June of 2021. But also you have fullness of bread, the abundance of idleness. And now there's another verse that I believe identifies what this sin of Sodom is. Jude 1, 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, you know, like queer flesh, you can see Romans chapter 1, verses 26 to 27, identifies Sodomite acts as unnatural and against nature. Strange flesh. I set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So the sin of Sodom is the sin that the Sodomites were engaging in in Sodom and Gomorrah, which was pride, fullness of bread, fornication, and giving themselves over the strange flesh, all that stuff. So that's what the sin of Sodom is in Lamentations 4 verse 6. And I thought I'd do this video because, again, this is Sodomite Pride Month, so I thought I'd do a video, uh, videos in response because I plan for the whole month of June of 2020 to go against the Sodomite agenda. And I don't care if it gets me kicked off YouTube or kicked off Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, I don't care because I'm more concerned about speaking the truth. So don't be deceived by the sodomite agenda. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.